So abscesses are quite common in rabbits. We do see them quite a bit and they're very, very tricky to treat. Okay, so definitely now that he's shaved, that one is a lot bigger than we thought. And if, if we burst it, the problem is we're spreading the infection. Mm -hmm. So we really want to keep this abscess in its capsule. Oh, oh yeah. Iona, I think you're right, it's custody. Our very first concept of the day, Asen, is going to be one of your favourite animals. It's not a dog. Cat. It's not a cat. It's a rabbit. A rabbit. Yep. In New South Wales, Alison and Audrey are answering an SOS about a tiny patient who's had a tough start to life. And this one's a really special case. It's really sad. It's going to port your heartstrings. Um, but it's a rescue bunny and it's come from the rabbit sanctuary. And she's a good boy. Emily is a volunteer with the organisation The Rabbit Sanctuary which has been rescuing and rehoming rabbits for 14 years. She's good. The Rabbit Sanctuary is all run by volunteers and we do it because we love it. At the end of the day, it's about rescuing these rabbits and giving them the best lives possible. Kissy, kissy. Emily is hoping the twins will be able to treat one-year-old Chimera after she noticed some nasty abscesses on the young bunny. Chimera was surrendered by a girl who did a mass rescue from a hoarder situation and there were six rabbits that had abscesses. See you friend. Good boy. They were all treated with antibiotics but Chimera in particular was the worst. The abscesses kept returning. So I called Alison and Audrey today because they're growing and getting bigger and we're really quite concerned. So tell us a little bit about Chimera's rescue and where he's come from. So Chimera was rescued in a hoarder situation and the person rescued 22 rabbits. 22. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's quite underweight as well. And she was at the point she was ready to euthanize him. Um, but thankfully she did contact us. So Emily tells us about Chimera's story and it's heartbreaking. He's malnourished. He probably has some liver or kidney compromise because he's had a terrible diet. And on top of that, he's got this weird mass or abscess that goes around his leg. He must be in a lot of pain. Yeah. Well, it looks like he's come to the right place and you've already started everything you can to get him back to health. But obviously, what's going on with his weight is that abscess causing him to be really unwell. And we know with rabbit abscesses, they get out of hand and they can become, you know, they can seed infection into the blood and make them really unwell. Yeah. Poor and buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's time to get a close look at the abscesses that antibiotics have failed to treat. Here we can feel quite a large lump sort of extending around here and there's obviously a, a wound there where the pus is coming through. So abscesses are quite common in rabbits. We do see them quite a bit and they're very, very tricky to treat. And I think rabbits, they can get it from a whole number of reasons. It could be a bite, it could be a foreign body, like a grass seed that's tracked through. It could be a bit of bacteria just entered through the skin. And then what happens is that the, these abscesses become really thickened. They've got these capsules that are a couple of mil thick. So no antibiotic or anything can penetrate it to cure it. And that's why rabbit abscesses are a huge problem. Okay, oh, and there it is. That's quite massive. And if you feel it, it's actually a really weird shape. It feels kind of lobulated. It's long on one side, it gets a bit bigger, and then it might even be connected to that one at the back. It's really weird, this abscess thing that's going on with Chimera. There's definitely one on the back thigh and there's one on the inside of the thigh. And then we feel a little bit more and it almost feels like they're connected through some sort of stringy abscess like connection. a chain of pearls, yeah. but a chain of abscesses. We call it a chain of abscess. And it's, it's strange because I've never seen an abscess like that. I've seen round abscesses, oval abscesses, but something like this that goes from the back of the leg to the front of the leg is very strange. Yeah, very, very, very weird. And they're actually discharging. The abscesses have actually burst to some extent and we can actually see pus coming out. So very, very sore. It's lying actually on top of a few very critical structures. Um, so if we were to go in and remove that, we've got to be really careful because there's some major vessels going just underneath it. And if we nick that, we're in a lot of trouble. Infections from the mass of abscesses is rapidly spreading throughout little Chimera's body and his condition is deteriorating. But emergency surgery is going to be risky. So he's underweight, he could have some underlying liver and kidney issues. 
poor diet um, and to put him under general anesthetic it's going to be a risk. It's also going to be a tricky surgery so not the quickest surgery. So we've got to weigh up whether it's worth putting this boy under general anesthetic to get it out. It comes to the end of the consult and this is the difficult part because we've been processing all this information and it's not good news. He hasn't responded to any antibiotics, he's not a well bunny, he looks like he's going downhill so we need to do something and that decision is going to be hard. Emily has to make a decision for us to put him on the general anaesthetic to get this abscess out and there is a strong likelihood he could die. Alrighty buddy, so I think Emily we need to have a decision on this, I know it's a hard decision. Yeah, I mean, I think like you said, you know, we don't do it and his quality of life is just going to keep going downhill. Yeah. We really need him to get better and it's a risk we have to take. We've tried medical options, it just keeps coming back and really it's the only option. So it's going to be a big day for you, buddy. Off to hospital? I'm definitely anxious. I have lost the bunny before under anaesthetic, so I guess I'm a little bit more anxious than others. So I do do a lot of pacing. Okay, Emily, we'll be in touch. Don't okay, worry. Thank you. All right, see you later. All right, here's Kanira. Oh, a lot of fun. There we go. Keep you nice and warm, buddy. I can pop him on his side if that'd be easier. Oh, yep, that would be easier. Just watch his back. Just turn him down and turn over again. Alison and Audrey face a massive challenge. They must try to safely remove the long string of abscesses without nicking vital blood vessels. Okay, so definitely now that he's shaved, that one is a lot bigger than we thought. And then there's this crazy kind of line of pus. And then it comes around this inside and then joins to this one. Weird. The abscess feels quite irregular, it's almost like a chain, but I want to know if they connect and I also want to know if it's attached to any blood vessels or anything like that. Before we get started, I whip out my mobile ultrasound machine because I'm really interested to see how deep this abscess goes. Is it stuck to the femoral artery and vein? All of these things will prepare us for a better surgery. Ooh, there it is. Oh gosh, look at how thick that capsule is. Yeah, it's connected. Is it? Yep. So we get a couple of images and we find out that as well as being one that wraps around the leg, this abscess is actually attached to some major blood vessels, the femoral artery, the femoral vein. And that means even the smallest accidental nick could result in fatal bleeding. We know we have our work cut out for us. If we nick any of those vital blood vessels, that would be really bad news he could die, and so we really want to avoid that at all costs. Time's off the essence, and this guy cannot have a long anaesthetic. Oh, oh, he's up again. But before surgery can get underway, the team is battling to stabilise Chimera. Rabbit anaesthetic is always tricky. They go a little bit light, they go a little bit deep, and in Chimera's case, I'm keeping him low on all the anaesthetic drugs because he potentially has some liver and kidney issues. So we do have to tweak the anaesthetic every time he gets a little bit light and starts moving. We've got to turn the gas up and then sometimes he goes too deep and then we've got to turn it down. You go scrub, just in case anaesthetic goes boo, and then I'll scrub last, but you go scrub first. Okay. He's on two and a half and his oxygen flow rate is just slightly high odds, okay. but he's stable. He's moving, he's moving. He may not just like that. Yep, he's, he's feeling everything. Chimera is still unstable and will feel pain if he's not fully anaesthetized. Just gave him a little bit more injectable anaesthetic just to get him a little bit deeper. All right, try and do this without bursting it. He's not feeling that, so that's good. So part of this abscess has already ruptured, but I actually don't want it to burst fully because if it stays full, I can actually find the capsule and take it out like a ball. Oh. We're not happy, Alison. Huh? We're not happy. All right, let me scrub. So, so we're scrubbing really quickly because he's been really unstable under anaesthetic. So I just want to make sure that we're in and out as fast as we can. So two surgeons might be faster than one. Don't you dare burst on me. Oh my God, I'm disgusting, ropey. 
And if, if we burst it, the problem is we're spreading the infection. So we really want to keep this abscess in its capsule. There we go. Hold the abscess. Look at this abscess. Look at it. It's like a worm. Look, look, look. It looks like an alien. It goes into little crevices. It's strung all together. I've never seen anything like it. It's like a caterpillar. And the more you pull, the more's coming out. Wow, right? Wow. Just wow. This is, this? this is, look, it's coming down to join to the other one. We were right. It is going around, look. All right, I think we're good. We're gonna flip it. Audrey and Alison must now try to safely unravel the bizarre abscess where it's wrapped around Chimera's leg. Don't hit the artery, don't hit the vein. I know, she like, you know, like, you know, really, really stressed me out. You know, like my levels are like already a bit high right now. So this string of abscess, Audrey's put her scissors through, is actually connected to the other side. So we were right, it's sort of wrapped around the stifle. That's pretty cool, huh? Ooh, <laughs> pass. Right, I got it, I, I got like it. This. Finally. Ready. And. Woohoo! Wow. Oh my god, look, it's like That's got a strings. string of abscess. It went around the leg like that. Abscesses are disgusting, but it's kind of that intriguing disgusting. And it's <laughs> actually, if you get it and you drain it or you remove it, it's like instant gratification. You know you've done a good job. You know you've got that infection out. I think there's nothing more rewarding yeah. than curing an abscess or getting it out. I really love abscess surgery. That was really Super cool. cool. But as much as we want to enjoy this moment, we're going to suture her up. Absolutely. With the massive abscess out, the girls must now stitch up the wound and wake up Chimera as quickly as possible. Such a cute. <laughs> so cute. While Chimera slowly recovers, the twins are fascinated to explore the extraordinary alien growth they removed so, from Ali, his can body. We cut this thing open? Yes, I'm excited. All right. So it's the end of surgery, and we have the sick desire to cut open. It's not a sick desire. It's actually part of the investigation it's actually process. A, a true part of this investigation. <laughs> we need to open it up and find out what's in there and is it pus. Okay, wait, where is the most juiciest? Ooh, look at that multi-lobulated. And take a sample for culture and sensitivity because we know he's been on all these different antibiotics, but they may not be the right antibiotics for the type of infection. So getting right into that pus sample and getting a little sample, sending it off, is what we need to do. So we've got to cut this thing open. Much to our delight. Much to our delight. And as vets, this is the fun part. Oh god, that's tough. Oh god, that's tough. That's why the antibiotics don't go through that. Yeah, like, no wonder. Oh, oh, oh pop. Goes pop. So oh, oh yeah. yeah, no, I think you're right. It's custody. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Okay, slice the whole thing. I want to see the whole oh, thing. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is amazing. I can't contain my excitement right now. As vets, we love gory, pussy. It's intriguing, because you see the same thing a lot of the time. So when you see an abscess, that's pretty cool. And when you see a string of abscess, that's even cooler. In we go. And we'll Off to the lab. As well as being, you know, scientific and it's all part of our investigation, just to cut that thing open and find out what's inside, that's some sick pleasure. Our there. job is never dull. <laughs> Viscosity. By now, Chimera is fully awake and ready to be moved to a cosy bed so he can continue to recover. Off to bed, my little one. And hopefully when he goes home and he's in his own environment, he's going to start chewing some grass. And yeah. So it couldn't go any better. It was just a perfect recovery. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.